Alright, that looks good. I'm gonna set my hand. Are you ready? One, two, three. Right now. Yeah, I'm about to get this face scanned. Oh man. I'm about to get scanned up by my boy. We tried yesterday, was it? We tried like yesterday, man. And it didn't work. They said my head's too big, Aaron. Mm -hmm. So now you gotta. You gotta make him an object, man. I gotta be an object. You gotta see all that science right there? This is top flight. This is NASA level technology. Oh, me. We're going straight to the moon with this one, guys. All right, so after the three scan, they're going to put it on a computer and print it out like a like a printer. All right, guys, when you're 3D printing, you want to use 0.125 millimeters. Because why? Because you want the smoothest texture. Here on the 0.25, that's a little rough. You don't want it rough, guys. Always a smooth ride. All right, guys, we just finished uploading the transheated filament. It's um, warming up now. Okay, it's really high tech stuff. You see, it's so I can't even explain. So freaking high tech. But um, shout out to the big homie. You know, yo, what's up? Gang, 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 gang. You know, I will, it's gonna print. It's gonna take about five months. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to, you know, if you type in the right codes, it might be a little sooner. So I'll check in with y'all later. Yeah. So we moved on to embroidery. Um, Got a little something light loaded up. Can't show you too much. Um, it's a process, guys, all right? If you don't take anything else with you, take this with you. When you thread the needle, lick the tip, all right? <laughs> Some people are so focused on the position that they lose sight of the mission. God is a talent agency. Anytime God brings you from something you didn't have into a place that you do have, always be aware of your mission. Don't get drunk off of your position. Because if you get drunk off of your position, pride coming before a fall, you'll lose it all because you got caught up in the position and lost sight of the mission. It's the mission that brings you to the position. God has given you every talent, every gift, every resource, every door open, every favor, every dollar you've ever made, every favor you've ever had with anybody, not because he was interested in you being important, it's because he has given it to you because he wants to trust you with the mission, not the position. Now you're trying to get the position, but God is concerned about the mission. The mission, the mission, the mission. He needs somebody who can represent people who would never get there and he'll move you up if you never lose sight of the mission. Tell us what you're gonna do. I know you want to. <laughs> y'all so so here's what the move is i made the shirt now this is gonna get complicated i made the shirt for a portraiture class on the portraiture class we are going to incorporate the fab lab that beautiful place in the older part of the video we incorporating the fab lab into our piece so the portraiture that's in the sweater i'm gonna have my grandmother wear it and i'm gonna paint her wearing the sweater with the portrait of my uncle so it's a portrait in a portrait, you feel me? Let's go. God has something new in your future. And the key is to enjoy the season you're in, enjoy the favor God's given you, but don't get stuck trying to make temporary provision permanent. In other words, don't try to make something last forever that was never meant to last forever. Just as God opens doors, God will supernaturally close doors to push us into a new season. 
The same God that brings people into your life, divine connections, He will supernaturally move people out of your life. Not because they're bad, but because the season is over. They've served their purpose. On the way to your promised land, don't be surprised if God removes certain people that you were counting on. People that you thought you couldn't live without. No, the truth is, they were holding you back. They were a crutch keeping you from blossoming, and if God didn't remove them, you would be stuck living off a temporary provision. And sometimes when people leave our life, we think, how am I going to make it without them? They trained me. She encouraged me when I was down. They ran errands for me. No, God wouldn't have removed them if you weren't about to go to a new level. Be grateful for what they did, but recognize this is your time to shine. This is your time to step up. You don't need someone constantly encouraging you. If God moved them away, they were temporary provision. God is saying, you can encourage yourself. You can run that department yourself. You can raise those children yourself. You are equipped and empowered by the Most High God. If they left you, accept it as a part of God's plan. It was not an accident. Let it go and God will open up new doors 